Hey, welcome back. Had a subscriber ask, can this burn through aluminum foil? And uh, my first thought is absolutely not. If you think about it, these right here are metal. This is only 40 watts. Now, yes, lasers can burn through metal, uh, but they're usually <laughs> much, much more powerful than this. Um, so I thought, well, what if we instead this is going to reflect all the laser light back out. No, very little heat will go into it, but I thought it's so thin. Maybe if um, we were to like cover it with like a dry erase marker, a Sharpie, spray paint, glue stick, because heck, I had it, and then glue stick with paper on top, and then obviously just plain old aluminum foil. I thought, what if we hit this with the laser and see if it does anything, and go from there. All right, stick around. Fair warning, this is an absolutely silly idea. This is gonna, this laser is gonna bounce off and just shatter your eyeball with infrared radiation. So, don't do this at all. I am going to be wearing my welding helmet uh, while hiding under my desk and hitting the fire button. So, I might blow my camera up, who knows, but we're gonna try. Let's see if anything happens. We're giving this full power, and I'm just gonna shoot the beam straight down into it. No moving of the gantry or anything. And fire. Fire! 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 Sharpie, fire! I think we should revisit the paper and the spray paint. I really cannot stress enough how dangerous this is. I am nowhere near this machine and I am never going to look at this machine unless I have my welding helmet on and even then I got to worry about my skin. So really don't do this unless you're like willing to go to the hospital. That was 20 millimeters per second. Let's go down to like one millimeter per second and do this again. Oh, we were starting to burn through, but I, I think it literally was melting. I think we can call that one myth busted. Will this work? Holy Did that work? I mean, what? Uh, I need to go get a giant can of spray paint. So we went to the logical next step, which was to take a 2x4, glue a piece of aluminum to it, and then spray paint part of it black and part of it regular, um, just to make sure... I'm wondering how much paint is too much. Do you need a little bit? A lot? So uh, we'll see if this cuts at all. I think it'll cut over here, but not over here. I mean, if this T part here wasn't so gnarly, this kind of looks like a cool little retro... Oh, that's a decent piece of art. It's a learning experience, if nothing else. I think we're going to we're gonna put that up in the shop somewhere to remind us of our roots. Yeah, I mean, it's burning through. It's even, um... It's even le leaving some letters. 
Alright, so we got some mineral spirits here. Just a little dab. We've at least proved our original intent, which was could we cut aluminum foil? And then the secondary intent of can it be cleaned off? And if you got some mineral spirits, yes, you can clean this off. But a damp paper towel. I don't have any paper towels. I do have an old pair of shorts. So if you were a highly creative person and you wanted to incorporate aluminum foil into your designs, you could totally do that. You could uh, go ahead and zap it and then take some mineral spirits to it and wipe it right off. But this is just regular spray paint. Hey, thanks for sticking around. I hope you learned something and you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, subscribe, comment, leave a like. Let me know you, you're digging this. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.